Good morning. Saturday morning, September 20. And uh, as you can see, I've brought the uh, the camper and my paddleboard to have a play on that water there. Now the place, I think it's called Seminster, or Seminster Water. Uh, it's a private lake. It's um, It's not that big actually. Cars coming, it's not slowing down. Oh, anyway, I walk into the farm. There's actually going to pay you money to spend the night here. Now, well, I've read about it, and on some signs there, it's three pound per person per night and three pound for your vehicle. But I don't know how much it is if you want to put a boat on here. So I know that I'll go and find that out. This looks like the place. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, kids here get fishing, but ambulance has turned up. That's interesting. Right, it's an honesty box at the farm. So what you do is you get your ticket, depending what uh, your your the motorcycle's one thirty or, or it's three pound all day. If you want to do that, or have, we've paid uh, two um, six quid for two people for night and then three quid for the van. I think that's how it works. It says on the uh, internet anyway. So that's what you do. You put your money in there, sign that, put some on sanitizer on, and that's it really. So now that I filled all that in, got my ticket to put in the window. Um, back to the car, have something to eat, and then probably blow the uh, paddleboard up. Um, you can fish on this lake as well, and obviously you've got to pay a permit. And I think it's day fishing, I don't think you can stay overnight, but uh, no doubt I'll put some information on the screen so you can have a look at it yourself. I just watched a couple of girls uh, on the paddleboard sitting down though, because the wind's going up. and. Uh, you might be able to see the ripples on the water, but it's getting a bit breezy. So what I'll do, and I've been meaning to do this, um, I'll turn me, uh, me paddleboard into a kayak for you. This uh, bloke paddleboard thing can be hard work. Take about 10 or 15 minutes sometimes to blow it up. It's so tiring to just put 15 pound per square inch in, but uh, I've got a little secret weapon I've got. I'll show you. And here it is. Battery, or I should say 12 volt um, um, sup pump, if you want to call it that, stand up paddle board pump um, to pump these boards up. So when you get with that, you get the instructions, but very basic to be honest with you. A, <coughs> a, uh, Connecting pipe to go onto the uh, the pump and actually on the back of the uh, boat. Connection like this is virtually the same as the one I've got. A little bit thinner, but it still fits. I've tried it, and then you've got other ones if you want to blow something else up with it. So this this is Itwit, which is uh, I think decathlon made. So it's for decathlon boats, but it'll blow man up as well so it saves all the hard work of me blowing it up so I'm going to put it on um, if you set it, if it, when it switches it on you can actually put the amount of pressure in whether it's pound per square inch or it's bars or the other one I can't think what it is uh, and then you just press it on when it gets that pressure it switches itself off so let's uh, blow the board up Now the maximum amount of uh, pressure you can put in here is uh, it, uh, off the machine itself is 15 psi pound per square inch or one bar. So that's the maximum um, it says on the instructions regarding my sup board. So it's perfect, it can't go any higher. So when it hits 15 psi, which I've set it up on, uh, it'll switch itself off. In order to go on this lake, you have to have insurance and uh, you must wear your life belt all the time 
So that gives me another reason not to go and to try some stand up paddle boarding because I couldn't get back on and as you think there will only be me on this lake now anyway so we'll see what happens um, I have insurance uh, I've just paid a membership to, for the something like the Canal, Canals and Rivers Trust I think it is something like that um, it cost me 30 quid for the year which is 40 which is 15 pounds cheaper than joining the canoe club if you got the same rights <coughs> Just stop now on 15 psi is perfect. Right, let's go and make this paddleboard into a kayak. There you go, the seat's on. Now it's made into a kayak. So now I get that piece, them two pieces. That's up for me to stand up paddleboard, I don't need that. Put these three together. There you go. Now normally when I go on this um, stand-up paddleboard um, I don't leave my glasses on because I know when I fall off and I always fall off <laughs> uh, that I'm just going to lose them but while I'm sitting on the thing I've decided I've got these well two of you but only you use one and they're for um, slipping over the end of my glasses keeping them nice and tight on the back of my head so at least I know when I'm out there um, if I have a wobble, they won't fall off anywhere. No, theory, theory crossed. If I did fall off the board, uh, I'm, I'm only falling a couple of footage to have like six foot like I normally do. So I'll put these on as well. Summer Water is located in the Yorkshire Dales and it's the second largest natural glacial lake after Malum Tarn. It's half a mile wide, covers nearly 100 acres, and is 1.4 miles long. One of its legends say that this was once a prosperous village. One night an old man came down to the village to look for food and drink. Everyone turned him away except an old couple who lived just outside the town. When this stranger was about to leave he uttered the curse, summer water rise and summer water sink. Swallow the town, all save this house where they gave me food and drink. Soon after the waters rose and covered the village, drowning everyone except the old couple who showed him kindness. Semmer Water is probably more famous for the paintings by J. M. W. Turner. This village is now part of the Turner Trail. I set off to do the circumference of this lake and you can see by the videos that at this present time the water was quite calm. At the very bottom of the lake, it's more like a bird sanctuary than anything else. I couldn't see anywhere I could actually step off the paddleboard to have a loop round. So I paddled back to the van, uh, had a minute and a drink, and then set off again. On the second time out, I went back down to the bottom of the lake, but this time the weather was a little bit different. The wind picked up and started to create some quite big waves. I was actually finding it quite difficult to try and roll back. I had to head into the wind, which was coming from an easterly direction, and I found it quite hard actually. I left the sound on what the camera was picking up so you can hear just how loud these waves were actually hitting the boat. The wind was pushing me towards the fisherman and that's the last place I wanted to go because I know that fisherman can get a bit um, irate with people like me spoiling the fishing. I managed to turn the paddleboard round back into the wind and start to paddle back to shore. I found it quite hard to paddle back. The quicker I was paddling, it didn't seem as always going anywhere. But eventually I didn't get back to shore and everything was okay at the end of the day. Well, I've uh, packed the board away. I've been out on it twice. First time was, uh, was all right. Um, wasn't as windy as the second time. Second time I got stuck over that area. The wind's blowing that much, which was sort of that way, which would be easterly from the east anyway. And uh, end up uh, getting stuck. I was talking to a couple of other paddle boarders, and they were saying the same. They struggled to get back to shore because of that, and they were drifting 
just over there, there's some um, fishermen. And they were drifting towards the fishermen, and the fishermen were going mad. Oh, what are you supposed to do? Dangerous, isn't it? You know, I caught it water like that. Anyway, uh, bought away, and I'm going to, what do you call it? Uh, I'm going to um, have some tea, wherever it may be. <laughs> Our neighbours, Helen, <laughs> just met them today. They've been on the uh, kayak and canoe. Well, as you can see, Ellen and uh, her husband, our boyfriend Dave, has gone home working. Nice to meet them though, anyway. It's been lovely here, really is. So we've got a nice spur space here, which no doubt somebody will fill tonight. Um, we've run out of gas in the camper, but luckily enough, I always carry some spur bottles, not for the camper itself, but for um, other... Um, um, gas rings, uh, whatever you want to call them, you know. So I'll put them up in a minute. And there we go. Spur gas for different cookers. It's even got a windshield. Meatballs and spuds. Very nice, actually. I like for a quick meal, I suppose. Good morning. Um, as you can probably see behind me, there's um, a fishing match going on. They've all turned up about seven o'clock plus, making a lot of noise. But uh, we will work anyway. Um, we're going to move on soon and give these guys a bit more space so they can park up and do whatever they're doing. Uh, if you want any more information on this place, I'll put it at the bottom. Just follow the link and you can uh, have a look yourself. Uh, just let you know, there is no TV signal if you decide to want to watch TV. You have no chance here. And there's no uh, phone signal. Well, especially EE, that's where we're on. Maybe other um, servers. You may get it or what, I'm not sure. But uh, the place is absolutely lovely. It really is. And at night, it goes really quiet. There's not many vans parked up, to be honest with you. And uh, I don't think fishermen are allowed to park up uh, overnight anywhere. So that's a bit, of, a bit of a plus here if you come in just for the night. Or if you're going out on the water. Um, it's really nice. But a bit windy yesterday, but generally it was all right. And it's not that big anyway. So if you, if you, don't get, if you do get into trouble, hopefully you don't, if you're on there. It's not, that, it's not very far from either side of the shore anyway, so... Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one, whatever it may be. See you later.